What's up guys, it's Jude here and you're welcome to Smartwatch series. In this video, we're going to be talking about managing SMS notification, call notifications, WhatsApp, Gmail, and other notifications on the Galaxy Watch 4. I think um, the Galaxy Watch 4 does a whole lot of good as far as managing notification is concerned on this uh, smartwatch. So we're going to be talking about um, these features and of course um, how to assess them so guys to receive notifications call notifications whatsapp gmail and other notifications on the galaxy watch 4 you need to enable that from the galaxy wearable app first so go ahead and open um, the galaxy wearable app now the app is opened tap on watch settings and you can see notifications at the very top. That's the first option. So tap on it. The first thing you want to ch ch check here, it says show phone notifications on watch. Okay, tap on this first. When you tap on this, yeah, you can see that um, I selected show alerts even when my phone is in use. I had to select this just for this video. Okay, to reduce the impact on your battery life, please go ahead and choose um, show alerts when phone is not in use. Okay, so I'll just go back. And now you can see all the apps I have here. To access every app on your, on your smartphone, tap on more. And you can select the apps that you want to receive notifications uh, from. And for this video, I have selected um, your Gmail, Gmail, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, um, SMS and all that. Okay, so go ahead and select these apps. Once you're done, just tap on the back icon at the top here and um, these apps will be enabled to receive notifications on the Galaxy Watch 4. So now that you have enabled notification on the Galaxy Wearable app for the Galaxy Watch 4, you can access your notification by swiping on right. Or you can just um, turn the physical rotating bezel anti-clockwise. Okay. So talking about managing SMS notifications on the Galaxy Watch 4, when you receive SMS notification, you can also access it from the notification um, panel here. And you can see this is an SMS from this contact. Okay. If I want to reply to this uh, message, I can reply with uh, my voice. I can reply with... Um, I can reply by recording um, a voice note. I can reply with emojis. I can actually scribe what I want to write and I can reply with the keyboard here. Yeah? And of course, you have the option to open this on your phone. And right below, you have the option to reply with preset quick reply. So let's just go ahead and reply with um, the keyboard here. Yeah? I'll just type what I want. I'll just say hi. So that's high. So I'll just go ahead and tap on the send. So this will go ahead and send the message back. Moreover, if you want to access more SMS messages, you have the SMS um, app here. So just tap on this. Okay. And from here, you can see this message I just received now. Okay. Um, I got a high and I have replied back to this particular um, contact okay and you have the same options to reply here you have um, other options to reply with preset quick replies and if you want to start an sms message you cannot start it from the sms app here you will need to go to the contact app okay from the contact app here you can call this contact or you can send a message right away with the galaxy watch 4 you can make and receive calls, okay? Um, this is the Bluetooth model. I can make and receive calls with the Bluetooth model here, but my phone must be nearby. If you have the LTE model, you can make and receive calls independent of a smartphone, okay? You have two apps here. This is the phone app. From here, you can choose any contact that you wish to call. If I tap on this, I can actually call this contact right away, or I can send a message to the contact. And um, you can tap um, the number you want to call here with the with this here and, and uh, with the contact app here, you can find a contact that you wish to call and you can make a call to that particular contact. So if there's an incoming call, you can actually enter this call, you can reject the call, 
and of course you can um, reject this call with a message okay as far for the call quality on the Galaxy Watch 4 I would say is quite awesome when you talk about managing WhatsApp notifications here yeah, if you have a WhatsApp uh, voice notes you cannot listen to it on the Galaxy Watch 4 and that's quite unfortunate you cannot record voice notes with the Galaxy Watch 4 you can only reply to WhatsApp messages if someone sends you Okay. okay, look at this for instance here. I got this message for this, from this particular contact. It says, hi, I can read all the messages here. Okay, but you cannot um, listen to this voice note. I'll tap on it. Okay, as you can see, it does nothing. For you to listen to voice notes, you have to go to your phone. Okay, and you cannot start a WhatsApp call from the Galaxy Watch 4. Neither can you answer what I've called on the Galaxy Watch 4. When you talk about managing Gmail notifications, I'll go to my Gmail notification here. Okay, here's my Gmail notification. You can see that I have 18 Gmail messages. So when I tap on the 18 here, it will show up all the messages that I have in uh in order of arrival okay and let's go let's go with this for instance with this message here you can you can reply with uh i can reply with my voice okay uh, i can scribe the reply i can reply with emoji i can type the replies directly or i can open this on my phone you also have preset quick replies here you can reply with preset, preset um, quick replies and if you go further, talking about uh, Facebook messages, um, you cannot reply to Facebook notifications, okay? You can only get an alert here and you can continue on your phone. The same thing applies to Twitter notifications, okay? If you receive a message from Twitter, you cannot reply to that particular message from the Galaxy Watch 4. You will have to go to your phone to continue to reply to that to continue with that particular message so that is about managing sms notifications calls notifications whatsapp gmail and other notifications that you've enabled for the galaxy watch for so guys this is where i draw the curtain for this video if you find this video helpful please give me a thumbs up if you've not subscribed please click on that subscribe button until next time goodbye